and welcome back. Today I'm looking at a program called Math Talk, which is used with Scientific Notebook. It enables you to do maths and even evaluates it and gives you the answers, so it's really good if you're doing a maths degree. Now it's going to be a bit long and drawn out this video because I want to show you also how to configure it all. You have to configure Dragon first because that's what you use for the dictation. Then it needs to cooperate with Scientific Notebook and Math Talk. So let's go straight into it. Well, before you can use Map Tool and Scientific Notebook and Dragon, you first need to set up Dragon so it can communicate with both Map Tool and Scientific Notebook. So you need to do a few settings first. I've done this video quickly so you can set stuff up. Come to the top here. If you haven't already done this, go to Profile and select New User Profile. And then select New and then Follow All Prompts to add your profile in there. I'd probably call it Math Talk so you can keep your dictation one separate to your maths one. So call one with your name, first name or full name, and the other one, just call that Map Talk. So I'm going to open up my second profile. Imagine this is the one that I was talking about, and it could be the um, Map Talk one. Give it a little while to load. Once done, come to Tools. And we need to change some options here. The first one we need to do is go to Correction. Now have a look at that window there and I want you to copy exactly what you see because I've already put all the settings in. So it just enables you just to copy them then rather than going through them individually. Once you're done, we need to go to commands. Important bit at the top here, make sure you've got that slider in the middle. It just allows time for Dragon to recognise the command in maths and then create in the scientific notebook. So leave that in about the middle, it normally works quite well. And again, if you can select all the settings in there that you see. Also, if you come down to more commands, make sure you've got everything ticked there. You don't really need these bottom ones ticked if you don't want. Enable Facebook and so on, Twitter if you don't want. Once you've copied that, I need to go to miscellaneous quickly as well. In miscellaneous, make sure you've got this ticked here. It doesn't really matter. But you can say wake up and go to sleep to the mic to turn it off and on. I normally drag this about halfway. If you're using an older computer with a low process like an i3 or maybe the old hard disk, then I'd probably have that more faster response. But I'm going to leave that actually about three quarters. Really important, make sure this option here is unticked. This is a box that pops up for unsupported applications and it will keep popping up in Scientific Notebook when it is supported. So make sure you untick that. Go to data, and again, make sure you've got a never here. Unless you're doing a lot of dictation, which you won't be doing in Math Talk Profile anyway, the dictation saves the audio file you've just dictated, so you can play it back. It takes up a lot of room, it's up to you on that one. Automatic backup user profile every five saves, so leave that as set as it is. Now what I want to do is go back to hotkeys quickly. A couple of things you need to do here first. And this is starting with the microphone on and off. This is mainly for laptops only, so if you've got a desktop, don't bother. So what I want you to do is select the microphone on off and select edit. And press the F6 key on your keyboard to set that new shortcut. Remember that F6 key as well. But I'm going to leave that and click cancel. Also select drag and bar menu. And then press Alt and D keys on the keyboard at the same time to set the hotkey, then click OK. It's important you do that on the laptop. And then click Apply, OK, and then I want you to restart your computer and come back to this video. Now we need to enable MathTalk to communicate with Scientific Notebook, but also Dragon. So do this after you've configured your Dragon. We then install MathTalk and Scientific Notebook. Now once you've installed it, MathTalk normally goes to your C drive, not normally in your programs times 86. So let's have a look here. So go down alphabetically, and there we go. So let me have a look. It should be in, it might be in a different folder for you, but I'm looking for, there's my file. Ignore the extension. Yours extension will be different, but that's the name of your file there. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy it, come out of there and then go to your scientific notebook which should be in program times 86 and if you scroll down 
should be under S. And there it is. Open it up. Make sure you don't accidentally paste it in one of these folders or it's not going to work. Scroll down and then if you right click and you paste it will actually overwrite the one that's already there. And that's what enables MathTalk then to communicate with Scientific Notebook. So when you say open MathTalk or open it, it automatically integrates with Scientific Notebook. So that's all now set up. So now we're ready to try it out. So I'm going to open MathTalk. And here we go. Let's give it a go. There you go. See, so it's automatically opened up Scientific Notebook for me. First thing I want you to do when you open it is to use this command. This enables Dragon then to set up all the settings within Scientific Notebook and Map Talk. So watch. Wake up. Wake up. Map Talk settings. Math Talk settings have been made. Go to sleep. So Math Talk settings sets up all the configuration for you, save you going through the manual. But I do recommend just having a little look through that manual, make sure the settings are correct. But that should save you time. Now, I should give it a go, see if it's any good. A couple of things you need to remember up here. I'm gonna I'm just gonna mark out this option here. If it's just creating text, it's because you're not in math mode toggled. If I hover over for you. You can change between text mode and math mode. Now I find an easy method of saying it new line or next line which changes from math to text and so on, but I'll show you that in a minute. At the top here, you've got options here where you can insert superscripts and fractions, but if you come along to compute, you've got more here as well. We've got calculus, for example, you do vectors, calculus, simplexes, and so on. You can plot two and three Ds as well once you start getting really confident. So let's keep it basic because that's about as far as my maths go anyway. Wake up. New line. I am going to test out the mathematics. Full stop. Next line. 442 million times 632 equals evaluate new paragraph 6 over 4 move out 7 over 10 divided by 6 over 4 equals evaluate new paragraph Alpha squared, Charlie squared, divided by X ray squared, quadratic formula, quadratic equation, new line. I am now in text mode because I said new line. To change back to text. Scratch that. To change back to scratch that. To change back to math mode, you say next line. Next line. Forty over six. Move out. Insert. Subscript. Six. Four. Go down. 22, move out, insert, compute, 49, equals, evaluate, new line, 642,404, so always watch at the top there between text mode and math mode. Next line. Next line. 74 
times 42 minus 9 equals evaluate go to sleep that will turn dragon off it's a good idea to go through a certain amount of commands they've got built into it to train them because they've got specific ones for algebra and so on depending on what you're doing now to bring that up use the command wake up train initial commands go to sleep this will bring this window up where you can now train map talk to get it up to scratch so let's give it a go so what I'm going to do is do this one here down the bottom which says train international alphabet by saying train alphabet wake up train alphabet and that way you can then train the alphabet or another good one that really struggles picking up at first you probably want to do as well is train algebra so you say wake up train algebra go to sleep now you can move the cursor down here by clicking underneath where you want to train from so let's give it a go wake up quadratic formula down to move down to quadratic equation move down to review quadratic formula move down to equals move down to plus move down to save user file Move down two times x ray. Move down two divided by save user files. Go to sleep. Don't forget to say save user files as you're going along to save your file. And again, you can go through the various options training what you need to train. You might be okay at first, but if you ever get stuck, it's definitely worth doing that. Thanks for watching.